Hey guys, welcome back to AR with Renu. And today, since Christmas is coming, let's create a Christmas themed lens. And I just downloaded a few pictures on, from Google. So it's super simple and you don't have to think so much about it because we're going to use the template that's already in Spark AR. Okay, so since this is the normal, uh, the blank layout, <laughs> let me just show you how do you go to the templates okay so once you press file you can go to new form template and click on the background template if you're already on the background i mean on the page you can actually just click on the template straight away from sparky art itself okay so i'm not going to show you my fix because sometimes it kind of lags so what we're going to do here is first of all notice that when you use a template they actually give you the instructions on how can you change uh whatever that you are supposed to change but before that, let me just show you what I downloaded. Okay, so close this. And I downloaded these three things. Okay, for us to use. First thing is a background for a Christmas theme background. Christmas hat and also snow. A PNG, like, you know, PNG snow and stuff like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is that I'm going to show you how to use these three pictures to create a Christmas themed lens. Or a filter okay so let's go back to spark ar okay and what i'm going to do here is that notice that when you click on replace me you will see this background picture and you can also see the size here so the dimension here is for you if let's say you want to create it on photoshop you want to create it on um, powerpoint anything you want to create on this is the dimension that you have to use but i just took a random picture from google because it was just easier for me to show it here okay so just right click on this and there's something called replace so click on that and find a picture that you like so i took this christmas theme background okay so open click twice on it and yeah so now your background has changed right so this guy is going to keep moving unless we pause him but never mind okay so the next thing we're going to create of course if you have christmas you always have snow now for the snow part there's something here called okay you just have to click on add object remember what i told you in my previous uh my previous video that this area is where you create the ar effects this area is where you create the experience itself in this area is where you put your pictures or your assets meaning all the videos that you i mean the gifs that you downloaded or the pictures that you downloaded this part is where you move and change around your settings and here is where what you see happens in 2d and also 3d view okay so now let's press on add object okay and i'm going to scroll all the way down to something called a particle system so a particle system is let's say you want to create many of something you know many of many objects many 2d objects moving or it's just emitting there you see so if you notice here look at this video so this thing is just emitting right so what happens is that it's going upwards so every time that a new picture is produced it moves upwards but now i want it to move downwards because snow moves downwards so press click on emitter the first thing you're going to do is that you're going to put it out let's not put it to the canvas let's put it out so they can move it around okay then Click on the move tool. This is your move tool, your rotate tool and also your scale tool. So click on your move tool and you can move this nearer. Move it in. Okay. You can choose where you want to place it. And I want to place it up here. Okay. But the problem here is that it's still going upwards, right? So what we're going to do is that we're going to change the spray angle here. So the spray angle shows, look at this. This is your x-axis. So yeah, I don't know where is the mathematics behind this but from what I've been experimenting, if you put negative 180, it starts moving downwards. Okay, so we want it to move downwards. And what we're going to do next is that we're going to put in the picture of snow that we downloaded earlier. So whenever you want to add in a picture, what you have to do is you have to go click on emitter. I mean, highlight what you're going to change and then go to materials, click on that and say create new material because it has nothing to do with your background and also your user okay so this material you can actually right click it and rename it 
uh, snow material. Okay, so that you can know later. You don't have to get so confused about it. Okay, click on that and you will see on your right side something called texture. Okay, click on the click on the picture part of it. Click on new texture, meaning something new that you're going to take from your computer. And then click on snow. Okay, so this is my snow picture. Okay, so now... It's actually changed to snow, but you can't really see it because it's so small. So what we're going to do next is that everything can be done here. So don't get so confused. Click on emitter again and then look at something called particle. Okay, so this particle is actually the picture that you have. So let's scale it. Okay, let's change the size of the picture. So let's say I'm going to put 0 0.2. <gasps> That's big, right? Okay, let's say 0 0.1. Okay, alright, so this is better. Okay, and then one thing that you need to know is that something called the birth rate. Birth rate means how many pictures are produced within a second or something like that. So let's say we want to change it to something smaller. Let's say 10. Okay, so you'll see that it's coming, but it's stopping halfway, right? So how do you change that? You have to look at the lifespan. So the lifespan here is 0 0.4 seconds. So imagine how short is that. So let's change that to 4 or 3. Okay, so that it goes all the way down. Okay, now notice that the whole thing is closing your face, right? That means the birth rate is still too high. So let's change it to, let's say, 3. Okay, so not that many pictures are being... Okay, so this looks more like snow, right? I don't know, because my country doesn't actually snow. So I have never actually experienced snow before. But I'm hoping this is how it looks like. <laughs> okay, so you can actually adjust this so that it will be from up. Okay, from the top. Alright, so our snow is done. Okay, so of course you can also change the opacity of it. So for you to change the opacity, remember that the snow is under a material. So the material has to be changed, not the emitter. So you can reduce the opacity so that it doesn't look so... Alright, so now, next, what we're going to do is that we've got our background, we've got our snow. Next is we need to have our center head. Okay, so next thing we're going to add is again, we go to add object. So this center head is going to be stuck to your face, right? So when you want something stuck to your face, you add in a face tracker. So highlight that and insert it. Okay, so next thing you're going to do is that you're going to right click it. You're going to add a plane. So you can either add a face mesh. Face mesh is more of like a face mask. But now we're going to just add an object, right? So what we're going to do is that we're going to add a plane. And this object is not a 3D object. So you don't have to add it as under 3D object. You add it under plane. Okay. And let's rename that so that if you get confused, you can actually remember what is that for. So center head. Okay. Click on that. And again, whenever you want to add in a picture or anything like that, always remember that you have to plus a material. So add a material, create new material. So this material, we're going to rename it as center head material. Okay. So yeah, easier. Okay. Then next thing you got to do is that you have to go to texture, click on new texture and Click on center head. Okay. You can either double click or you can actually open it. Okay. Done. Okay, since the guy is moving too much, let's pause him. Okay. So now what we can do is that we have to change the size of the center head and also the position. So center head is under this center head, which is under your face tracker, right? So what we're going to do is that click on the move tool and then you can move it up. Okay, and of course, you can also scale it because it's still small. So, let's just make it bigger. And let's make it longer a bit. Okay. Okay. So, I'm just moving it here. Move it up. Move it here. Just adjust it to how you like it. Okay, I think this is fine. I think so. Okay. 
Okay. Alright. So it looks like he's wearing the center hat, right? Okay. And then you can actually play for you to see how it moves. Okay. So if you feel like it's not so aligned to what you want, you can actually rotate it also. So this is your rotate tool. So click on this to make it just straight away. Okay. Done. So of course, if you're adding a 3D, it may look better, but this is just a 2D. So just for us to, you know, try it out, this is a way for you to create one filter. So let's just see how it looks like on me. So yeah, this is our Christmas theme plans. And remember what I told you earlier on how you can export it and try it out on your phone. So all you have to do is click on this rectangle uh, shape icon here okay click on it and then you can click on send to app and yeah you can either choose facebook or instagram okay so that's all there is to create a simple okay, let me just change this back so that i don't like too much okay that's all there is to create a simple christmas lens um yeah let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and i will surely answer it that's all for today so do like and share this video if you found this valuable and hey don't forget to subscribe because i'm going to keep on putting more videos on how can you create filters and lenses on instagram facebook and snapchat so see you in the next video